Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted or sent me an email and wanted to know how to make a chain using Object to Path, which I believe started in Corel 2018. So if you have 2018 or 19, you have Object to Path. So to make it, this is a simple chain. I'm going to make a rectangle. I'm going to round the corners. I put five inches so it goes to the max. Go to Effects, Contour, Contour to the one step, I'm going to say half an inch, that looks pretty good. I'm going to select it all, I'm going to go to Range and break Contour apart. Select it all again, go to Range and combine it, you have to combine it. I'm going to make it black just so it shows up. Now, with Object to Path, you go to Arrange, Object to Path and open up the Docker. And you select both items. And I've got it set on 10. And that's not quite enough. Let's back up. Let's go 12. That's pretty cool. Looks pretty good as long as you have overlapping lines. Now I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to take my path away. And then you just start using the virtual segment delete key to delete the overlapping segments. So we're going to do this one, and then we want to do this one. So the chain looks like it goes through the loop. Then on this one, you preferably do the opposite. So do this one, and then you'd want to do this one. I'm not going to do all of them. I want to do one more. We'll do this one and this one. See, I messed up there. Just back up and take out this line. Then get your Smart Fill tool, set it on black, fill that in. Go ahead and do the next one in black on both sides. Then change it to a lighter gray. And do that. That's how you would make a chain in 2018 or above. And how I made this, uh, just for instance, how I made this almost a perfect line. I just used my two-point curve. And don't do not hold down the control button. Control D and make a duplicate, mirror it twice. Take that node where you get the X. And then you want to, if you're going to do text the path, you need to open up your Docker, join curves, and see one line's blue, one line's red. And just hit apply. Makes them both red, and now both lines are the same. And what it is, it's an equal line. I mean, it starts and stops. It's, you know, it, it's, the curves are equal on both sides. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.